Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Chuckles from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, this is a companion piece to the later released Crimson Strike Team, although they both seem to be shipping right around the same time. Uh, I, I actually canceled my order for the Crimson Strike Team. Uh, I'm either going to wait for it to go on the sale that Hasbro has been doing every year, uh, or I'm not going to get it at all. I want it, don't get me wrong, but there's so much coming out right now that I just, I got to make decisions. And for, for characters that are not original, and I feel confident we're going to see that improved Red Baroness uh, figure in a different form down the line, uh, so I, I will miss out or I will wait, whatever the case may be. Packaging for Chuckles looks great. You got this weird, like, spy radio type thing, or spy screen type thing going on. Philip Chuckles Provost on the top. Uh, kind of sticking it to the Crimson Strike team over there in the corner. Very smart to release these right around the same time and make it clear that they are companion pieces because that was because I, I had a pre-order for the Crimson Strike team uh, and that was a part of it. it was like well I gotta have them to go together so that's smart marketing that's it's uh if they would just get back to doing cross sells regularly I think that would be even better so on the side this is number 75 you got some dials cool looking control stuff uh, you have got your QR code that probably just takes you to the Hasbro website like all the rest do. Uh, and then you've got the extensive Enterprises logo on the back of the box, which I like this very much, and I hope we see more of this uh, in the coming media and releases and everything else. And then we've got a cool G.I. Joe, like, spy tap device. And you can see it's plugged into the side of this thing. Just really, really cool packaging. I, I like the way that they did this. But uh, now, you know, we got to open it up because that's what we do here. I'm going to go ahead and slice through those so we can see what this front panel is. I mean, we've seen it all because Hasbro reveals literally everything about everything. But here we go. We've got an awesome cartoon over here on the side that reminds me a lot of if you have not... Uh, read the Hawkeye comic that received so much acclaim from Marvel, uh, check it out. But this reminds me a lot of that Hawkeye comic. And then over here we got a shot of the figure with the Crimson Copter in the background. Uh, which actually is kind of odd. What What is the relation of this to what's happening here? Uh, he has escaped with, I guess he stole the helicopter? Or what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, and then over here in the background, is this beautiful Braca Beach? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I like it though. I like all of it. The whole, this whole scenario, just very cool. So now let's get this figure out of the box. I always open from the bottom if I can. Uh, Chuckles. Oh, I forgot to grab Chuckles. All right. Hang on. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Do our little comparison. Oh man, it's snug. Oh man, that's great. So as as I have mentioned before in these reviews, there's our accessory locker. Oh, that's a little different this time. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, as I have mentioned before in these reviews, I don't look too closely at things when I order them if they if I know it's something that I want. Uh, so, looking at his shirt, let, let's get him out of here. Oh, and it is the plastic. Isn't that interesting? He's got the plastic uh, ties in there. Uh, the background, rather than the... Which I gotta say, okay. Oh man, that looks great though. Look at the gloss on that background image that's really really nice uh, but rather than the grayscale art of the character it's this which kind of messes up my collecting of the grayscale art of the characters 
Uh, but whatever. This looks really, really nice. And I might use this for my thumbnail if I can figure out how to tighten it up enough. Anyway, all right. Let's get him out of here. I love the watch. I love the shirt. It. This looks like just first glance. Uh, because this was a deluxe figure and people were like, why has this got to be a deluxe figure? Which I understand. And, and Chuckles is honestly kind of an odd choice for a deluxe figure. Considering the original only came with two things. But those two things were so important. Ugh. I'm, I'm a little over this loose accessory problem that we have in classified it's i get it this is just how things have to be but this is just it's so unsatisfying to me to have a figure with something like this that just wobbles around all over the place uh and it's the nature of the line it's how it is it's how it's got to be but i just this stuff stuff bugs me uh all right oh man the, he's really good he looks like i'm not saying the figure by itself looks like a 35 dollar or however much it cost figure um but this does look like a really really nice figure man and he's gonna look good on the shelf this is great i really am happy with just the first glance look of this figure. So let's compare uh, to the original. I get why people didn't like the high boots on this one, but also it doesn't really bother me. It's fine. Chuckles never necessarily made a ton of sense as an undercover guy because he is, I mean, he's got the big knife on his thigh. He's wearing boots. He's got military colored pants on, olive drab. I mean, they're not BDUs because there's no pocket on the original figure, uh, not on the thigh anyway. But I mean, they are still like an olive drab. He's got a web belt. Like, he's not really very undercover. So to do this for the classified release, it doesn't bother me. And if you really want, stick his head... Oh man, I might try this. Uh, stick his head on a suit body or something. Like, do try some other things uh, follow audible Inter audible eh, excuse me follow audible interlude podcast on instagram i might mess around with uh chuckles head on some different bodies a little bit um i'm sure other people have done it but whatever so you can see the green uh leaves and the pink flowers are updated we've got brighter colors on the classified figure which i actually like quite a bit but in the 80s i will say this these colors were pretty accurate and I was always a fan of Chuckles as a figure and as a character. You know, the little bit that we saw of him uh, in the cartoon. He was very different from what I thought he should be, but I still liked him just grabbing the Havoc missile and throwing it. Uh, and in the comic, we got a lot more from Chuckles, and I really liked the character there, and he had some different looks. Uh, but this was, as a kid in the 80s, a guy with essentially a Magnum PI shirt and a shoulder holster was awesome. And that shoulder holster, I can't tell you enough what a cool thing that was. Uh, when, when I discovered the technology, I just thought it was awesome. So this was just a cool figure to me. I really dug this figure a lot. Uh, and I really dig this update. There is a spider floating around. I don't know if you guys will see it or not. It just went away. It's, it was trying to spin a web. The fan caught it. And now I don't know where it went. Uh, so he's got the Joe Pro on his belt. And I know there's some name. Somebody came up with these. But I like Joe Pro. I think that's fun to say. Uh, he's got a sheath on his thigh for a knife. Uh, the boots... Well, let's do here. Let's not neglect Chuckles. Uh, so the portrait looks great. Uh, this, to me, is very reminiscent, well, really, of how he was depicted in Sunbow and in the comics, because he had kind of a... Uh, 
I don't know how to phrase it. it. Like he had a big jaw, he had a big face, which isn't quite what I'm trying to say, but hopefully you get it. Uh, he's reminiscent of the actor that played Flash Gordon in the movie, just a little bit. Uh, oh gosh, I can't think of his name. Sam, Sam, tell me in the comments. I can't think of it. Uh, but anyway, look at, just look at the detail on the shirt and look at how the shoulders are done to show that this is a shirt. Like the way that they're kind of almost squared off a little bit up here at the top. Just really well done. Standard articulation. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel and like tripwire, he does have a hideous cut joint uh, when you swivel his bicep. I, I really wish they would avoid this kind of thing going forward. Figure out a different way because that looks absolutely terrible. Um, plastic feels really good. Uh, this is not like a gummy release. Got an up and down on that wrist joint. Uh, all the articulation is moving nicely. I, I moved his watch just like I did with uh, something else I reviewed recently. Uh to the inside because I feel like a person of action is probably going to keep the face of their watch pointed towards them so it doesn't get damaged. Um, you can see a little countdown right there. I, I love the gold watch though. That looks really cool. Uh, and then this wrist is back and forth wrist. Got the nice joint at the waist working well. Got the ab crunch that uh, is fine. On this one, I mean, I would prefer there to be no ab crunch, but it doesn't look horribly obtrusive on this figure. Uh, hips and oh man, yeah, this he moves really nicely. Everything, nothing is really sticking at all on him. It's all working really well. So production quality on Chuckles is is good. Uh, and then boots, as I mentioned, that he does have kind of taller boots. Doesn't super bother me. Although I will say this, I wish they were just regular combat boots and not this funky design that they chose somebody had said they were going to swap dusty's waist down with chuckles waist down and i will be curious to see how that looks tiger force dusty um might be something i'd, I'd consider doing myself after some of the recent swapping that i've done and, and had some success with again follow that audible interlude podcast account on instagram You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, the shoulder holster is, as far as the look of it, is successful. Maybe a little paint on it would have been nice, just on the buckles and, and the uh, rivets here. But it it's fine. I, I really want to get some like rubber cement and just put a couple of dots to keep this thing in place. Uh, okay, so that's Chuckles. He's awesome. I'm very, very happy with the look of that figure, with how he turned out. I was still a bit confounded as to why he was a choice for an exclusive like this, but whatever. Uh, his accessory loadout is in this awesome Cobra briefcase looking thing. Extensive Enterprises on the back. We, Crimson Strike Team. So it says it right there on this. That's interesting. It would be really funny if this was Crimson Strike Team accessories instead of Chuckles. But there's no doubt because, look, more Chuckles branded uh, packaging. This is great. I absolutely love this. This is fun. Look, this, to me, if you can pack some fun into the unboxing experience that's a little dollar value too let's be honest for for me not everybody will agree but i appreciate that kind of stuff got a nice little briefcase got uh, probably what sunglasses in here i bet or his heads oh okay sunglasses and uh his headphones, nice little loadout of stuff. So let's slide it over and get to it. We'll start with the briefcase because that's the first thing that caught my eye. Got a little damage on the back here. Some nice weathering. Uh, could definitely use some paint. 
I mean, really, there's there's really no excuse for all that hardware just being brown. That should be gold or silver. It's not really... I really don't want to get to the... I've already done kit bashing and everything. I like the interior is painted. That's nice. Uh, I've messed around with kit bashing a little bit, and I really don't want to get into the point where I start painting my stuff. But things like this bother me. That hardware, there's just no way that should be brown. I own a number of briefcases like this, and uh, none of them have brown... It's uh, Come on, Hasbro. It's not that big a deal, but it is. Okay, we've got a little file here that he has stolen with the Crimson Bat. Right there, paper clipped, great sculpt, everything looks awesome. Uh, I do not need this to open up, I like it as is. Keeps it neat and tidy, just a nice piece. I'm going to put that right in the briefcase. You've got his Walkman, which by the way is, well, okay, so it's not Sound Wave. It's, is it Sound Blaster? I can't remember. Noel or, or Christian could tell you. Uh, but it is the sculpt of one of the Transformers. And that plugs into his belt back here, hopefully relatively easily. Oh yeah, it goes right. Oh, that's great. I expected that to be a struggle, but it plugs right in. Um, you're not going to hold him up by it, but it stays It stays put. It's good. That's awesome. I'm more excited by, by that than I possibly should be. Uh, you've got broken handcuffs, which have paint on them, on the chain part. Which is wild. Uh, the handcuffs go on. You pop his hands off and slide his wrists into these. Put his hands back on. Which I'm good with. I don't need functional handcuffs. Uh, I mean, I don't need them to open and close. I just need them to work with the figure. And it would have been too much to put hinges on these. I don't need that. Then they would have been big and would have looked weird. And wouldn't have maintained the aesthetics that I want for that kind of thing. Uh, I've got alternate hands with not just brass knuckles, but like spiked knuckles. Well, I guess those are. Yeah, those are just brass knuckles. But they look great. I like them. I don't know that I'm going to display him with them, but I'm glad he's got them. I think it's a nice touch. Uh, you have non-broken handcuffs. I'm a little disappointed that those aren't actual links, but I will always be a little disappointed when any chain is not actual links. That goes back to when I was a kid. But now I'm curious to see, can these even... I'm going to go ahead and pull his watch off too. Can he, I mean, I surely he can wear these, but I don't see how. Yeah, those those wrists are not getting anywhere near each other in front of him. Even even with the butterfly joint, so he's going to have to be, if he can be handcuffed, it's going to have to be from behind, but that's not going to happen either. You've, you've really got to push the plastic to get that to work. Hmm. Let's see, you can't, it's literally, that's it. That's the only way. Okay, let's go down there. Okay, no, maybe. All right, let's get one of these on and see what happens. I do kind of wish he had also come with... Uh, just closed fists without the brass knuckles. I think that would look better with the handcuffs, although getting the handcuffs on. And see, that's another thing. Longer links, although I understand these. this is, this is accurate handcuff length, but my gosh, Hasbro... Uh,
Man, this is a struggle. Okay. So there you go. He can wear the hand handcuffs, but it's uh it's a little bit of a struggle. If I missed something, let me know in the comments. If there's some magic trick or if there's a different way that those are supposed to work or, or something like that, uh, do tell me. But that seems like about it. But you can get them on him. So there you go. All right. We will continue on. I'm going to put his watch over here so I don't lose it. Got his knife, which has nice paint on the blade. Uh, it's a little soft, but it holds its shape. It works well, so that's fine with me. Looks good. Really nice looking knife. I'm go ahead and put that right here, even though uh, Cobra operatives certainly would have confiscated that before they cuffed him, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, he's got binoculars. Would have been nice to have some paint on the lenses on either side, but also, eh. They look pretty good. I like them. Uh, I, I will put them in a drawer and likely never use them. Oh, wait a minute. No, I won't. Because look. Those. See that little clip on his belt. Those clip onto, well, I think. Yeah. Those clip onto his belt. So I will keep those on him displayed. Okay. Uh, he's got a lay, which is a whimsical piece that I appreciate. It's a little harder. It's a little more rigid than I thought it would be. Like, out of all the stuff you guys could make out of softer plastic, this lay absolutely could have been one of the things that would work. Um, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, that can just slip over his head and sit too high and honestly not look all that great. So, eh, it's, it's okay, but that's going in a drawer too. Probably could have been done a little better. I mean, why not make it bigger? I hate it when anything that's a necklace that's too small, I don't understand. Make it bigger. Just make it bigger. Uh, Eddie Kingston, uh, Jazzwares Jazz Wears AEW figure, came with his rosary, and it's way too small. It, it doesn't fit right. Same thing with this lay. This Just make it bigger. He's got, of course, his blaster that does have a port for a blast effect. Looks great. Very similar to the original figures. I like it. It's going to go right in here, even though he's still cuffed. We're just going to slide that into uh, the holster. It fits perfectly, stays snug, looks good. Sunglasses. The sunglasses look good. I like the painted polarized lenses. I don't need these to be transparent necessarily. I think they did a nice job of uh, achieving the non-copyright infringing Ray-Ban look kind of mirrored-esque on there and hopefully they fit better yep they have kind of figured out sunglass fit to a certain extent while I would rather have a head that just had sunglasses sculpted on uh, Hasbro has kind of figured out a nice way for these to work and honestly I'm probably not going to display them with the sunglasses uh, but it's, it's, it's okay. I'd rather just have a portrait with sunglasses sculpted on. Uh, and then f we've got his headphones. Nice sculpted detail. Uh, the painted earpieces. And you can have a headphone-sunglasses combo going on at the same time. Kinda. Close. Those are probably going in the drawer as well. Or maybe maybe around his neck. Uh, and then finally, our alternate portrait, Beat Up Chuckles. I like it. I look forward to putting 
this portrait and Big Boa uh, on the shelf together, or at least taking a couple of pictures. Uh, it looks great. It looks great. I, I just, I like the idea that he got caught, he got beat up, but he got away. So there he is. There is old Chuckles. Came with plenty of gear, nice loadout, looks good. Very happy with this figure. There, there are a couple little quibbles, obviously, that I mentioned. But for the most part, oh, I might just leave that hanging off his wrist. Well, no, because that's what the broken ones are for. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, but overall, this figure is absolutely a success. It's going to look great on the shelf. Most of the quibbles I had were about optional things, so I'm not super concerned about them. Uh, but there he is. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, yo, Joe. Smash that like button if you like needless things.